So what we have here on this number line that we've now marked off with the tenths, and you can see that this is three tenths here, we can think about this as a multiplication of a decimal. And so what is this representing? And I'll give you a hint. It's representing something times three tenths. So pause the video and try to think about that. Well, let's see. We are going one times three tenths, two times three tenths, three times three tenths, and then four times three tenths. So what's represented here is four times three tenths. And so what is this going to be equal to? Well, you can see you go from three tenths to six tenths to nine tenths, and then you could view this as 12 tenths, but 12 tenths is the same thing as one one and two tenths. So you could view this as 1.2, one and two tenths. Let's do another example. Now actually I'll do it on the same number line. If we wanted to represent three times three times 0 0.2, what would that look like on this number line? And what would this be equal to? So I'll put a little equal sign here. Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, so let's think about where two tenths is. This is one tenth, two tenths is right over there. This is 0 0.2. And we're going to multiply it times three. So we're going to multiply it times one. Then we're going to multiply it times two. That takes us to four tenths. And then we're going to multiply it times three to get us to six tenths, 0 0.6. So it's six tenths just like that. Now you can also visualize two tenths as parts of a whole. So for example, this represents two tenths. I have this whole, this square is a whole. It's, it's split into 10 equal columns here and we have two of them filled in. So this represents two tenths. So if you have three times two tenths, well this is one times two tenths. This is two times two tenths. And this is three times two tenths. And so how many tenths do we now have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths, which is exactly what we have here, six tenths. Let's do one more example that gets a little bit more involved. So here we're told to multiply. It says you may use the model shown to help find the product. And this is a screenshot from the exercise on Khan Academy. So pause this video and see if you can figure out what this is. All right, so they're saying 52 hundredths times three, and they have 52 hundredths depicted right over here, and then they have it depicted three times. So the total number of hundredths depicted here, that is 52 hundredths times three, because we have 52 hundredths here, another 52 hundredths, and then another 52 hundredths. So how many hundredths is that going to be? Well, you could view this as 52 times three, and that will give you the number of hundredths we have. So let's think about this. So if we were to just say 52 times three, well this is going to be two times three is equal to six, and then five tens times three is 15 tens, which is the same thing. We could either just write it as 15 tens, or that's 105 tens. But either way, if I have 52 of something and I multiply that by three, I now have 156 of that something. And here, the something is hundredths. So if I say 52 hundredths, hundredths times three, that's going to be 156 hundredths. And how do we represent 156 hundredths? Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. If this is the ones place, this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, well, we would write the six there, the five there, and the one there. So you could recognize this as, hey, look, a hundred hundredths, let me color code it, a hundred hundredths is the same thing as a whole, and I'll circle that in red, and 50 hundredths is the same thing as five tenths. And of course, six hundredths is the same thing as six hundredths. So this is going to be equal to, we could say 1.56, or you could view this as 156 hundredths, or you could view this as a whole, which is 100 hundredths, and five tenths, which is 50 hundredths, and six hundredths.